Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival of Creativity. So today's try something new video is going to be paper cutting. So if you've never done paper cutting the process is really really simple once you get like you know how to do it. Um, obviously there are varying difficulties, um, I don't know, easinesses, easinesses, that's not a word, but difficulties varying depending on the design that you choose. The one I'm showing you today is pretty simple, um, but you can get some really in-depth stencils and things online. You just have to know and get into the mindset to make sure you don't accidentally cut it out completely. Um, so if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, I'm gonna hop right into the process. So the first step that you want to do is either find a stencil online that you want to copy or and print this out obviously or draw it. I opted with drawing it so I drew my butterfly outline, the antenna and then the um, like semi circly bits, teardrop shapes I guess, um, in the middle of the butterfly, the big butterfly and then did two smaller ones around it as well. Once you've done your template, you want to start by, I'd say start in the middle, just because the fur, like the more that you cut, the less stable it's gonna be. And if you start in the middle and work your way out, then you've still got the outside holding it all together, as opposed to being more prone to for rips and things like that, because you do not want rips in your lovely paper cut art that is taking you forever to do. <laughs> pro, pro tip. <laughs> Um, so once you've started cutting you want a craft knife and a cutting mat and you want to start cutting out your design. Um, as I said I started with the teardrop shapes then did the antenna in a V shape and did a little portion of the V for the bottom of their body as well just to show that that's there but I didn't join it all the way up because if you join it all the way up and then cut out the edge of the wings so that they flap up you're gonna lose your butterfly because it will be all cut out so make sure that you leave some little tabby bits to keep it holded, holded? held all together then once you've done that you can cut around the outside and gently bend up the sides to make it more three dimensional i've got it up here so you can see once it's in the frame it's got this 3d sort of effect to it and then repeat this for all the other butterflies or whatever design you're doing obviously not every design is going to have the 3d bits some are going to be flat and just cut out as well but literally the sky is the limit you can do like people's faces as stencils and cut them out you can do animals landscapes tr like trees and woodlands um, and layer them on top of each other so you've got a 3d effect you can do um what have i covered people animals landscapes i think that's it really text as well any sort of quotes and things like that the sky really is the limit so i hope you like this video guys if you did please make sure to subscribe and i will see you all next time bye guys